fact in the game. Tonight. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. First down. Here's Burrow escaping. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. And all the way down to the 35. A big play there for Cincinnati. 51 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually... Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. Flush to his right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. 
The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Charles, a look there at the Bengals draft class for 2020. You know, a lot of names on it, but let's be real. Ultimately, it's going to be the performance of Joe Burrow that determines the success or failure of this group. But when you do select a quarterback at number one, and he's a quarterback coming off of maybe the greatest college season in history, yeah, he is going to make or break your draft. But I do think they got some really good players in the draft as well. In T. Higgins, a wide receiver out of Clemson, and Logan Wilson, a linebacker out of Wyoming, they will help make their draft class solid as well. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. These preseason games are big in the development of rookie receivers, and now their teams want to see if they're going to be truly NFL caliber. So oftentimes, offensive coordinators will call certain plays to see how they react, give them a big check mark for that one. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have taken the lead. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Flushed out right. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there, and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback. Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. Escaping the pressure right. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And now running right through it. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A big play there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Bengals strike quickly here for six points. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdowns? So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Flush to his right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A big third down play there for the Bengals. 51 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage.
So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. His throw caught at about the five. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Bengals have broken our tie as they take the lead. Brandon, remind me. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Eluding the pressure right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. So we've reached halftime, and there you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Yet another carry here tonight for Gurley. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Sean Williams with the tackle. He led the Bengals in that category last year. Again, they run with Gurley. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? You gotta be kidding that one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Ryan hit, and he lost the football, and the Bengals grab it. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. No coach or team's ever happy when someone has a turnover, but if there's ever a good time to do it... Preseason. <laughs> yeah, right now. You know that in come regular season, he's going to be ready to go, and maybe he'll remember, yeah, I don't want to do this when it comes time for the game season. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Flushed out right. This is caught. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Bengals use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And that, boys and girls, is an NFL record sixth touchdown reception. The record has stood since 1950. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Floating one incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down. And Burrow going to throw again, escaping the pressure right. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Flush to his right. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. From the 21, it's second and 10. Now it's the backup, Finley. Throwing the...
Out route incomplete. That's Tate. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Again, it's Finley. Steps away to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, I've lost track of how many times he's been in the end zone. This is just flat unbelievable. Doesn't matter whether you have an abacus, a calculator, just old-fashioned pencil and paper trying to total it up. The number is staggering. What a Both offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. To throw again, Finley eluding the pressure right. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Now Finley flushed out right. This will be caught inside the 10. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time... Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Escaping the pressure right. Throws right side, and that's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Flush to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating in the red zone now, Finley. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Bengals add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this <laughs> one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge? Both offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. That was a pretty impressive touchdown play. Those broken tackles, those weren't easy to get by. No, they really weren't. And they've had trouble tackling throughout this ball game. But on this particular play, how about that move? Or I should say moves with an S. Because I don't care if you were a great tackler. You had trouble getting him on the ground on that one. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. 
and give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone, and you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. And a most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep running. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL. Tonight. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. A huge play there right off the bat, 53 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. That is caught inside the five. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time 18 more and a first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. And now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. Let's hope it's not anything that'll keep him out of the opener. We'll be right back. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. From four yards out. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive. Many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal. There was no hesitation. Field goal unit never sniffed the field. It was a message. And the message. Yeah. 
So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Flushed out right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Escaping the pressure right. And a throw right sideline is complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Here's Burrow. Flush to his right. Going right side here, and that's complete. On, and he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again, it's Burrow. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A big pickup of 38. Oh, I think we all understand his disappointment. He didn't quite get to the end zone, and you know it's just got to be tough to see a yard line underneath you after a play like that. Still, all in all, a huge play, and now they're set up first and goal at the one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Another shot from the one on second and goal. To the air again, Burrow. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Little loft on that touchdown pass and sort of dropped it in the breadbasket perfectly. Right in the bucket. And when you're coming out of college. All right, the offense back out there now. Let's see what they can put together. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Dancing to his left. That's complete. to John Ross. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? And this is caught at the 8. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the 1. Let's go! Let's go! So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass, and that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. From a yard out. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. So simple math here in the first. All right, the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. Finley sets to throw on first down, eluding the pressure right. Look at right sideline, that's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Well, maybe 
maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Buying time to his left. Throwing right, and that's complete. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again, and he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To throw is Finley. Flushed out right. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. By the way, as we expected, most of the starting units out here in the second quarter. So get your two deep, your three deep, your four deep ready for this one. If you have a... He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. And there was no going through the progression. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Finley to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. His throw caught right around the six. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown, and the Bengals add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook, but even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. A big third down play there for the Bengals. 53 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A 22-yard touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And his throw here is incomplete. 
Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Finley setting up on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. A big play there for the Bengals. 47 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Back now in Cincinnati. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll throw again. Finley. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals just continue to pour it on. I'm not sure what other ground there is to cover here. I mean, this offense has been amazing. Just total domination, Charles. They've clicked so well, and if you really focus in on the offensive line, they've protected. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that, has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Flush to his right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a playoff. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A 16-yard touchdown as his guys kick. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. Eluding the pressure right. And a scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Finley flushed out right. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Finley now escaping the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Forced out to his left. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, they just continue to roll. And Charles, for you and I, we want the close games. But for them, it has to be so. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. First down, Finley. Flush to his right. 
Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 24 yards the game there, another first down as well. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Being chased out left. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw is incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, where our booth is here, we can see... So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. And he will find his man on the outside. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Flushed out right. Wide open receiver complete. There he goes, right side. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, partner, when a team's up this late in the game, well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati. Select the team you want to join. Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left.
Start your week by installing your game plan. Tonight. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 46 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A big play there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Flush to his right. Wide open receiver complete. And some room to maneuver. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A big play there. Doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Eluding the pressure right. Going right side here, and that's complete. They find some open field here. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he is finally out of bounds all the way down at the 30. An outstanding pick up there for the Chiefs. And even 50 yards. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he's out of bounds.
It's almost gets to the 10. Now first and 10 at the 11. Now Mahomes. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And that is incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Flushed out right. Throwing right, and that's complete. Sheds off the tackle, and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 75 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And that is caught for the touchdown. Kansas City. Let's go. Let's go. A five-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. So the big play to kick off the drive set them up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And running with power here. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 56 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. 24-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And that touchdown reception is the fifth for him in this game, and that ties the NFL record. And a record that's held up since 1950. This is another person that's tied it. But think about this, Bob. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. Going to throw right side here, complete. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 95 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. So from back deep, deep in their home territory, all the way into the end zone. You think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. To throw, it's Mahomes escaping the pressure right. That is caught inside the five. And the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Give him back-to-back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Tyreek Hill in the final seconds. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And now off to the races down the right side. And oh, 
so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs just continue to pour it on. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they... It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a good pick up there at 22. So first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Pushing tacklers aside. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And, you know, he may not have the franchise tag, but I bet they're relieved to have that deal done, keep him around. And he's a good guy, a valuable player to them, and they wanted to make sure they had him around. Good team chemistry, always hard to find, and when you've got it, you don't want to let it get away. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Sometimes when I see these types of plays executed, I think of basketball. Guys boxing other guys off to go out and get a rebound. And he got the rebound right there. But the defense was really placed well. Yeah, they were right there. I mean, that's where it's really tough for a defender. When you're in the right spot, you're draped on the guy catching the ball, yet he still comes down with it. Third quarter action to this offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. On first down, Mahomes. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. A big play there, 46 yards. And the Chiefs have got it on cruise control. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means... It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. He's going to take another shot here. And this is caught. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 71 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that, he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. A one-yard touchdown reception. And this... Now the offense back out onto the field as he'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. Finding the end 
end zone yet again. And this offense continues to pour it on. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a four. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as he'll quickly head back onto the field. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. This is caught. Now he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Byron Pringle, 69 yards. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 30. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. And this is taken in at the 5. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A big play there. He flat out can't be stopped as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot? So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. He's going to try and go deep again. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to have this way down in Cincinnati territory. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 64 yards. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Sean Williams there defensively to break that one up. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. He's going to float this over the middle deep. He's got a man complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 44-yard line. A big play there for KC. 49 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter through the old hold-up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly... Give them a...